Pulse. You saw it right there. That's what it's all about for Kenzie Page. Looking to become a role model to the young girls in the crowd. Let them know that they can grow up. They can be in the ring tearing up with these men. Kenzie Page looking to make history, become the first ever woman to win a Haas tournament. Making history is something Kenzie Page has got plenty of experience with. And it ain't just the young ladies. It ain't just the young women in the crowd. Kenzie Page is enough to inspire anyone, Carmen, to get out there and chase something and prove that they can do it. Kenzie Page has done some incredible things in the New South ring, and she is one of the reasons that New South can call itself the best in the South. Of course, the first woman to win tag team gold in New South. First woman to challenge Whoa. for the New South Heavyweight Championship. And she's in the ring right now with someone she's very familiar with, someone she defended those tag team titles against. Going to a 30 minute time limit draw in New Jersey for our annual Winter Wars Rumble event. And then going the extra five minutes and picking up the victory. Over half an hour of absolute destruction, Carmen. Jordan Oliver and Kenzie Page are no strangers to each other. And we'll see if they're gonna bring that same intensity, that same energy, and that same endurance and the to most, the Haas tournament. The most important thing here, Kenzie, going oh. for the pin. Most important thing here is both competitors are healthy this time around. Oh, absolutely. Course, last time we saw them in the ring, Jordan Oliver sporting an eye injury, Kenzie Page with a bum shoulder, and now both competitors, oh! Going for a pinfall. As close to as 100% as you can get in this profession. Oh, absolutely. We've seen what they can do with some injuries. Now we'll get to see what they can do when they're at full strength. Kenzie working Jordan Oliver's neck. Kenzie looking to correct that loss in the first round of Haas last year on the eve of her 20th birthday. New South is just full of inspiring stories, Carmen. And right, oh, Oliver going for that submission move, but Kenzie desperately fought out of it, scrabbled her way to the ropes. And the clout cutter going to make quick work of Kenzie Page, trying to reserve some energy for night two. Oh, and Kenzie means business now. The Haas shirt is off. Kenzie is ready to deliver some offense to Jordan Oliver, but Oliver's dangerous, Carmen. Charges in and notice Jordan Oliver targeting that arm. There's a reason he calls himself the clout cutter. Oliver's extremely dangerous by catching you about catching you by surprise and knocking the big boys down a notch is his favorite thing to do. Kenzie Page trained by Dr. Tom Pritchard. I'm not sure if he thought of that move. <laughs> I think Kenzie came up with that one all on her own, which just shows you the level of competitive talent that New South brings to the ring. And I love the respect that these two competitors show for each other. Of course, they went to war last time we saw them. This time, one-on-one -on -one action. They don't have their tag team partners with them. Going for that test of strength one more time. You can't go through something like what Kenzie Page and Jordan Oliver went through and not have it come out with some respect for each other, Carmen. Abdominal stretch here from Jordan Oliver. Jordan, someone who's been tearing up the scene. GCW, of course, we saw him in MLW for a time. Now here he is back in the New South Ring. Always a pleasure to have Jordan Oliver down south. Kenzie Page, those deep arm drags. Well, Jordan Oliver is one who absolutely understands what is expected at New South Pro Wrestling. He brings his A game every time he steps in that ring. And he's given the New South faithful some of the most exciting matches in the past year or so. An arm drag from Jordan Oliver, but Kenzie rolls through. Kenzie able to just control that long, lanky frame of Jordan Oliver. Just keeps that momentum rolling. And as she wrenches on that arm of Jordan Oliver, you see her younger sister there on the outside watching on. Someone who recently joined the pro wrestling ranks, looking to learn oh. from her older sister. And what a person to learn from. Oh, absolutely. 
Oliver fighting back now. That's for that clothesline. Oh. Kenzie ducks. Back elbow now. Delivers some chops. And here's what we've seen before. Just trading blows. Trading shots like heavyweight boxers. Kenzie driving her shoulder again and again into Jordan Oliver's stomach. Trying to knock some wind out of him. Trying to take some gas out of his tank. Oh! A big shot drops him. Sharp kick to Jordan Oliver's upper back. And folks, if there's one thing I've learned in the professional wrestling business, something that I hear over and over, the one constant that I always hear is that Kenzie Page is one of the hardest hitters in the locker room. Oh. Carmen, Kenzie Page has to be a hard hitter. She goes into pretty much every match at a disadvantage for size and strength, so she throws everything she's got. Oh. Oh, every ounce of weight in her body into every blow. When Oliver sweeps the leg, Kenzie lands right on her neck. Kenzie, one of the pound for pound strongest athletes we have. But when I hear a competitor like Garrett Neal say Kenzie Page hits harder than anyone he's been in the ring with, that scares the hell out of me. Oh, absolutely, Carmen. It don't matter. Well, for the pinfall. Kenzie Page don't care about not being as big or as strong as some of the other competitors. She knows that it's all about speed, Carmen. It's all about momentum and velocity. It's all about heart. Absolutely. That's why we are here, the heart of the Southern 16. Oh! And very few competitors have more heart than Kenzie Page. Well, Reese Monkey takes that back. Jordan Oliver certainly has heart to match Kenzie as he proved at Winter Wars Rumble by going the distance. Two worthy competitors showing the New South faithful what the spirit of Haas is all about right now. And Oliver just driving his foot into Kenzie Page's chest in that corner. Driving the air out of Kenzie. Tries to make her way up. Kenzie Page in a dangerous position right now. Using Oliver can leverage. Oh! And that boxing experience coming into play. You know, I heard this earlier that Jordan Oliver has been taking oh. lessons in boxing training. Oh! It's and a that spear. Oh! It's Delivering a, some hammer fists. It's a useful skill to have, Carmen. It, it teaches you precision. It teaches you how to throw a punch. And most importantly, it teaches you endurance and conditioning, which is, again, we keep bringing back to it. Something you need in a tournament like this. And just like that, the momentum firmly in the favor of Jordan Oliver, who grabs the ankle of Kenzie and drags her to the center of the ring. You know Going for that Boston oh. Crab. He's oh, got a, oh, he's got, he's got, a got it in. Kenzie's in a very bad place right now. She's far away from any help. And could the Haas curse continue for Kenzie Page? It's certainly looking that way. She's taken a lot of damage, Kenzie but oh! Makes it to the ropes! Manages to reach the ropes. Keeps her hopes alive. Trying to make it out of the first round for the first time ever. Grease Monkey ain't gonna call it desperation. Grease Monkey's gonna call it determination. That's what keeps Kenzie Page going. That is the fuel that fires all eight of her cylinders. That is exactly what it is. Jordan Oliver oh. takes the legs again, going for that Boston Crab one more time. Kenzie, though. Kenzie not going to let him have it again. Goes up kick, sends Jordan off the ropes. Rolls through, hooks the leg. Only a two there. Oh! oh. Jordan Oliver walked right into that one, folks. He got all of that kick. And now Kenzie firing up the crowd, who is firmly behind her. Oliver to his feet. Kenzie has Jordan in her sock. Oh! Big uppercut. Calls for it one more time. And that right there is what makes Kenzie one of the hardest hitters. Going for the repeat. Oh, just her ability to move. Clubbing blow from Jordan Oliver. That back elbow right to the base of the neck. And now, what does Jordan Oliver have in mind? He was able to catch Kenzie Page slipping, and now he's trying to mount some big offense of his own. But Kenzie's fighting out of it. Kenzie with that back elbow now on the second rope. Somewhere we don't see her often. Oh! Missile, drop kick. Kenzie goes for the cover. 
Jerry oh. Oliver kicking out with emphasis. Big old drop kick sends Jordan Oliver flopping around like a broken serpentine belt, but he still managed to kick out of that pin. I gotta say, the story of Haas so far has been youth. Absolutely. We're three matches in, and everyone so far has been so young, and it's so impressive to watch that at such a young age already have so much skill. Kingsley oh. with that, that neck breaker, and now has Jordan recites. It just shows you the kind of competitors that Southern Professional Wrestling cultivates. Jordan Oliver gets that shoulder up. These two may go 30 minutes one more time. Lord of mercy, Carmen. And apparently nobody showed up to Haas with any kind of tournament strategy in their head because it has just been full bore, full throttle, pedal to the metal from the very get-go. It's been a fight to the death, honestly, just to get out of the first round for all of these competitors so far. It just shows you the level that New South is at, Carmen, to push competitors to just oh, oh destroy themselves in the first Drop round kick. of a tournament. Going for the pin. That could have been it. Jordan Oliver came Oliver. so close to it. Oh. Smells the blood in the water, and Kenzie Page could be out. Kenzie rolls through, but right. And we saw this in New Jersey, folks. We saw this as the time limit was expiring for the New South Tag Team Championships. Jordan Oliver wrenching back on Kinsey, but Kinsey has no time limit to save her tonight. Oliver so dangerous. There Able we go. Kinsey makes it to the ropes. Just has so many creative ways to get his opponent into a submission, and now ignoring the rope break and just delivering blows to Kinsey Page's head. And it looks like all respect has been thrown out of the window. Just like we said, this is what Haas does to people. We saw it building up in every show towards Haas, the level of violence, the level of determination, the level of just sheer drive that that chance to compete for Hugh Mungo brings out of people. Who is going to leave this tournament to face off with our champion Miami Ice, Rolando Perez, at a future date? Kinsey Page and Jordan Oliver started this match on pretty mutual ground, but it now it's it looks like it quickly devolved. Absolutely, it's reached that point where it ain't about respecting your opponent, it ain't about sportsmanship or trying to put on a good show for the fans. Now it's just about making it to the end. Now it's just about achieving victory through any means necessary. Right now it's just about survival, oh! and Kenzie Page launches Jordan Oliver all the way across the ring. Sends him bouncing like a ball bearing. Folks, just for some perspective, this ring is 18 feet across, and Jordan Oliver just traveled that entire distance. And hot dog, that's some hang time, Carmen. And you saw how heavy he hit. Hot diggity dog indeed. Jordan Oliver now laid out on the outside. Kenzie Page trying to make it to her feet as well on the inside of the ring. Referee Jimbo up to a count of five. Carmen, we've had some victories already, but with how hard everybody's fighting to make it to the second round, Reese Monkey don't know if any of our competitors are even gonna survive to get tonight to a hoss. Jordan Oliver rolls into the ring, keeps his hopes alive. Both competitors on their knees, and again, Deja vu here. Crawling to their knees and deciding to trade blows in the center of the ring. Kinsey's never one to shy away from a punch off. That fighting spirit from both competitors. Oh. Jordan Oliver just took her head clean off with that. Sharp kick flattens Kinsey. And now Oliver headbutts. Willing to do whatever it takes to get out of the first round. Kinsey though, still showing that heart, that drive, the determination, the grit. Oh! Kinsey rocked. This is what Haas does to, to competitors, Carmen. You have to go to a place, a dark oh. place. You have to push yourself, not to the limit, Carmen, but clean on past it. 
Kenzie ducks, oh. misses a shot of her own. Oh. Under the leg. Oh. Knockout blow. Kenzie Page lands on top. Oh. Oliver, working on sheer instinct, was able to get his feet planted and use his hips to kick out. here from the New South Faithful, and I am 100% in agreement. This is awesome. It's awesome, and Grease Monkey is awestruck by just how much punishment a human body can take. Kinsey's had enough, grabs the hair of Jordan Oliver to bring him to his feet. Oh! oh! Walks right into that super kick. Jordan Oliver rebounds one of her own. Going tit for tat. Oh! These two competitors know each other so well that release suplex. And now Jordan Oliver looking to keep that momentum rolling. Has her on the shoulders, going for that TKO. Kinsey rolls through. Pop up, power bomb. Kinsey and Jordan stand right on each other's bumper, not going to give either one bumper. an inch. Jordan Oliver back and forth now. When the race is so close like this, Carmen, that's when things get really dangerous. Sweeps the legs. This Rolls the Kinsey Page! Advances to the second round!